Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2020. The album, Dad AF. <clears throat> See that girl, watch that scene. Dig it, the dancing queen. I'm getting ready for my roller skates. Listen, listen, I am though. I'm so excited. I got home today and my neighbors told me that I had a package. They're like, oh, we have to sign for this package. So I was like, oh my God, it's my roller skate. So if you don't know, but it wasn't my roller skates, okay. But let me just tell you, okay, I am so excited. So if you don't know, I just purchased some roller skates. I did, and I'm gonna start a new channel, okay. I'm done with this drama stuff, sitting in a chair flipping fans, okay, talking on the drama conch. Talking on the shim lang lang ding dang ding dong dong a drama phone. I'm tired of all that, okay? From now on, I am a roller skating drama channel of the world. You're gonna have to catch me out there on the road, okay? <laughs> okay? Catch me outside, how about that? You're gonna have to catch me outside on my roller, uh, they're not roller blades, okay? But I do have a pair of those in the basement. On my roller skates when I'm doing tricks to ABBA and Donna Summer and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so the other day I went through my Starbucks to do a review. This is literally on my review channel. It's gold, okay? So I asked the guy, he's like one of the friendliest baristas in the world, and I asked him, it's Ben that works at the Starbucks that I go to. I said, I was asking like who he, like what his favorite musicians are, and he named somebody, of course, that I had never heard of before, right? Because he's probably into those real like indie artists and things like that, you know, they always put up on those Starbucks CDs. Do they still have those Starbucks CDs? You remember those back in the day? But anyway, so I said, who's your favorite musician? And he said something, that, I don't know who she was, but I said, oh, do you like Donna Summer? And he goes, who? And I go, you don't know who Donna Summer is. I felt so old. Oh, my God. So, anyway. But today I sang a little uh, Dancing Queen. This is where the people that are like, we just came for the bitter. Uh, we just, <laughs> they came for the bitter and they're getting a lot of it. This is where the people came for the drama. And they're like, we just came for the drama. We don't care about this intro. And my intro is two minutes and 15 seconds long. So, anyway, let's get into the drama. <laughs> For all you bitter Bettys and sour Susans. Don't be a bitter Betty and a sour Susan. Laugh. Enjoy the world, okay? The world is not all just about drama. In fact, I just want to say this, okay? You know, I have received, I would say not a lot, but I would say a couple, you know, a handful, <laughs> a dice throw of comments from people that are saying, you drama channels are eating this stuff up. Like, you just love it. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay. First of all, all right, if we're at Disney World, you better back up. You didn't get the VIP speedy pass, okay? You don't come over here and tell me those kinds of things, okay? Second of all, I've been reporting on drama, investigative reporter of the world. I have never claimed to be, okay? Never have ever claimed to be that. Now, I did say I was a candle review company back in the day. But anyway, um, so listen, and... I have always just had so much fun getting on here and making drama videos for you guys. I love doing it. That's why I like to make it lighthearted. That's why I like to flip a fan and I like to tell jokes and little stories in between that, okay? To make it a little bit like heart, like hearted, <laughs> like hearted, <laughs> that too, okay? Like my heart. Like my status, if you like my status. Oh, Miles J. Do you remember Miles J back in the day? Okay. So anyway, um, but listen, like, you know, some of this stuff has gotten, like, real dark and serious. And I have to tell you, as a drama channel, okay, for this one sitting right here that started, I don't know, it's coming up on four years in September. September 1st was my very first drama channel that I ever, the video that I ever posted. And if you don't know my history, let me give you the 30-second breakdown, okay? I have been watching this stuff go down between Jeffree Star and Kat Von D. Now, I know who both of them were. I knew Jeffree from his music, and I knew Kat Von D from her TV show. So I knew who they were, right? But not really. And I'm watching all this fight and go. That was the first friendship that he done ruined, okay? Uh, I'm sure she's over there, you know, real so sob story today. But she's got her own issues, okay? Kat Von D, just because... It was a friendship with Jeffree Star. That don't excuse her away. Anyway, she's got her own bag of issues. <laughs> Let's just be for real, okay? But then I started, like, on the side, I started seeing that there were other drama channels that they were doing drama. I was like, what is this? People are commenting on that. And so I started watching it, and that's how I became a drama channel. But, you know, like, it's changed a lot, okay? It, like, has really changed in the last couple years. And, you know, there's not a lot of lighthearted drama. I miss it, quite frankly, okay? I do. Like, you know, people have, like, been saying, like, just do a lighthearted video. Just do a lighthearted video. What do you want me to do a lighthearted video about? The fact that Nikita Dragon is coming out and telling everybody she don't care if you care about her and she's um, the most problematic person in the world. Nikita Dragon is the most attention-seeking person in the entire world, and I kind of live for it, okay? But if I made that video, nobody care. They'd be like, why are you talking about Jeffrey and Shane? Jeffrey 
was out with Black China and Jeffrey was with Cole Kerrigan and all these. I don't care about all that, but we're going to talk about it today, okay? Because I, I do care. I do care, all right, about how Jeffree Star is treating his fans and the people that have given him this luxury lifestyle of which he leads, okay? Lifestyles of the rich and fa the famous. Rich and, what is it? Lifestyles of the rich and famous. You remember that show back in the day? Anyway, so we're going to talk about that. But, like, I've always enjoyed getting on camera. I do enjoy getting on camera, okay? I enjoy turning on the camera and being here for you guys and cracking some jokes and hopefully, you know, like, making you guys laugh throughout the day or making you think differently, which is why I try to give advice and suggestions in my video based on my own mistakes that I've made in my life. You know, and some of the most endearing messages that I've ever received are from people when they're like, I'm going through the hardest breakup of my life. Thank you for making me laugh. Or, you know, like, oh, I never thought of it that way. Thank you for making me think deeper about that. Or, you know, I listen to your videos, you know, three times a week while I'm at chemo. And thank you for keeping me distracted. So, yes, I do enjoy getting on here and making videos. I don't always enjoy making videos about what is going on within the beauty YouTuber community or the YouTuber community in general. Um, I try to stay away from topics that I think are, you know, super damaging or, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just, like, there's a lot of topics, there's a lot of people that I've never made videos about on my channel. But let's just be for real, this is a hot topic and this is what's going on right now with Shane and Jeffrey. So let's talk about it, okay? All right! By the way, I do love your comments, and we're going to get to a couple of them in just a second. So everybody wants to timestamp this video at 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Y'all do it. I just think it's rude when you do it, okay? So anyway, that's like going to a cooking channel, and they're talking about the food that they're preparing, or whatever, and they don't even get to pulling it out of the oven at, until 12 minutes and 31 seconds, and you timestamp at 12 minutes and 31. But you do you, okay? <laughs> you sour Susans and bitter Bettys out there. Okay, let me get into this. First of all, I want to pull up these receipts. So last night, while I was like reading through my video okay i started getting all of these comments that um black china had posted on her instagram that she was with jeffree star they're actually these pictures that do little things like this here i'll put put the pictures up in a row here for you so you guys can see it. the first one is i don't know checking her teeth or something like that and jeffree star standing next to her and then the next picture is they're like standing outside it looks very posed it looks like an ad for i don't know but some high-end brand like Versace or something like that. And then the next one is them in the car again and Jeffree Star sticking out his tongue like, you know, you do when you're 12 years old and for a picture, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just have to say this, and you do you too, like that thing, but sticking out your tongue, that, uh, what is that? Are you getting checked for the COVID because you've been around so many people without your uh, mask on, Jeffrey? I mean, he is not social distancing and he is not wearing a mask in the city of Los Angeles in California, which has like pretty strict limits about that and the fact that he just does not care is very very telling of Jeffree Star right oh I'm sure these pictures were taken months ago and she just now posted them so it's interesting when you go underneath the comments underneath here um, so I'm just going to read the comments straight through to you. Someone said, oh, I was going to say this. Okay, two things I don't love in pictures, but like I said, you do you, is when people stick out their tongues. I mean, I'm talking about like, I guess if you're, if you're younger, like it's whatever, you know, like those TikTok people, they all do that. But like stick it out your tongue. And the other thing I don't like is when you take a picture and it's like your middle finger at the camera. What is that? <laughs> what? That's what I do, peace. Anyway, <laughs> peace be with you. And also with you, because you need Jesus, okay? If you're sticking out your middle finger at the world, what does that say? F you. F you. I love you too. Okay, so anyway, let's go underneath here. Someone said, I don't know about this one, Chai. Someone said, you do anything for money. And someone said, what is this, honey? Someone said, I had high hopes for you. Someone said, she's erasing comments. Someone said, not surprised. Clown emojis. Girl. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, so he can take pictures but not address what's going on. Oh, no. I love you, girl, but nah. Oh, no. Uh, who is that? <laughs> Somebody said. And it just goes on and 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 on. Okay, and she is apparently deleting comments underneath there. So that was interesting, okay? That, I don't know, two of the most problematic people chose to hang out together, I guess. I don't know. And then Cole Kerrigan on his Instagram comes out. Now... <laughs> I don't really have any opinions about Cole Kerrigan. <laughs> That's my opinion, okay? But 
what does he do? Like, is, does, is he a makeup person? Or, like, I mean, or does he just hang out and, like, cause all kinds of problems with literally every community? Like, um, every person out there he causes problems with? <laughs> like, okay. So, when you... I just got done filing my taxes. When you file your tax, is your employment a problematic person? Like, I mean, is that what you do? Oh, if that, if that is, then, Cole, you can go to my merch shop, which is listed below. And I have an... I'm in there a sweat... I can't talk today. A hoodie that says problematic on it. You might want to buy it. <laughs> Just saying. Buy 50 of them for your friend. Okay, you can write it off. So anyway, he took this picture and he put it up here. I'll put it up here for you. And this is in Hidden Hills, California, which is apparently where Jeffree Star's house is. And he tagged all these people. I don't know who these other two people are. But uh, Jeffree Star and then uh, these, It's you can see it's Cole Kerrigan. And then there's a picture of Jeffree Star and he's, I'm 50 and I like to kick. You can see him there. There he is in his lonely mansion. <laughs> Do y'all remember that that uh, that book? Uh, oh my God! Hold on a second. I have to get this book. Hold on. Oh my God! I cannot believe I found this book. This was like my favorite children's book of life when I was growing up. I actually did an entire video on my booktube channel. There's something hanging off my hat on my booktube channel. Reading this book. It's all the cobwebs from my basement. But anyway, little did I know. Okay. When I was little, little Peter back in the day, okay, that uh, I would one day grow up and I would learn to be a drama channel of the world. Oh my God, because of this book. And the book is called The Lonely Doll, The Life and Times of Jeffree Star. Story and Photography by Dare Wright. Now, when you open it, you can see it says Mon in there. My mom wrote that because it was my book. Don't steal books, okay? It's true. Anyway, let's go. Are you ready? We won't, we won't read the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of... We're going to apply this to the life of Jeffree Star. The Lonely Doll. She's so lonely. Look at her there. The Lonely Doll by Dare Wright. Okay. <clears throat> Once there was a little doll. There she is. Okay. Once She's up in her, her vault closet there. Okay. Once there was a little doll. Her name was Jeffree Star. She lived in a nice house and had everything she needed except somebody to play with. She was very lonely. <laughs> She was so lonely, lonely Jeffree Star. Every night when she said her prayers to the devil, she pleaded, please, please, Satan, send me some friends. <laughs> there she is drinking her Red Bull. Okay. Every morning when she ate breakfast all by herself in her big old mansion in the Hollywood Hills, she sighed and wished for company. <laughs> She's so lonely. Every day when she fed the pigeons, or chihuahuas, she'd beg, please stay and talk to me, but they just run away. But the pigeons just ate and flew away. See, I told you so, I already knew that part of the book. Then one morning, Jeffree Star looked into the garden and there stood two bears. <laughs> the big bear bowed, I'm here, you hired us and we showed up. Thus is the story of the lonely doll. She paid her friends to come and hang out with her. So, we're done with that book. Anyway, what do you think about this? <laughs> I love books. You learn so much from books, don't you, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, you should probably read The Lonely Doll. I think you'd relate. It's kind of like a self-help book for you, okay? You can find out what old Edith does in there. It's Edith, not Jeffrey Star, but in case you're confused. Let me just tell you what I think about all this, okay? This is literally, like, if you are a stan of Jeffree Star, I'm just going to say this and y'all take it for what it's worth, okay? If you are a stan and a super fan of Jeffree Star and you don't have a pa problem with his racist past and you can explain that away and you don't have a problem with the way that he treats people and treats his friends and belittles them and destroys their lives and careers and you can excuse that away, you probably at this point should be a little embarrassed about the fact that you have literally stood by him through everything that is going out, going on, going out, going out into the world. And the man literally, okay, is hanging out in pools with his friends, going out on the town, buying cars, taking pictures with people, and cannot give a response to you, okay? This is so much deeper than when he came out against Laura and Manny and said, imagine, imagine, because he lives in this world of imagination, you know, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory up there in his factory, you know, contriving all of these whatevers. So anyway, I can't wait till they, like, all this funny ha-ha about how his stuff was sold up, uh, Kat Von D stuff was sold up in the Marshalls and all this kind of stuff. Girl, wait till your stuff is sold up in the Dollar General, okay? And then where you gonna go in there and look and be shading people then? 
So he can't be bothered. This is so much worse because like literally, I mean, when he was like to Manny and Laura, like, I can't relate. Can you imagine not coming out with an apology? No, I can't. Where's your apology? Where is you speaking to your people whatsoever? I mean, it's been like almost like 10 days at this point and he hasn't put up anything on Instagram. He hasn't tweeted anything out. He does not care. The only thing that has anything to do with him whatsoever is that Killer Merch relaunched this hoodie of uh, Shane Dawson's, right? He is out there literally living his best life, not bothered, okay? And I I've said this before, he's the most unbothered, bothered person in the world, and he is. He acts like he isn't bothered, okay? Well, if you aren't bothered, then this. Then why aren't you posting on Instagram everything that you're doing? Why are you not posting on Twitter? Because that would show that you truly aren't bothered, right? Like, I'm just going on with my life, and I don't even see you people over here asking me for answers. The fact that you're not is like I'm in hiding, but I want everybody else to expose it. I want everybody else to show that I'm not in hiding, you know? I want Oscar Wilde, my friend, to show the world the pictures, right? I want, you know, Black China to show the pictures. I want Cole Kerrigan to show the pictures so that everybody can see that I'm out in the world. Like, that is so petty. Like, literally, if I didn't think that Jeffree Star was so immature to begin with, like, this literally, I mean, you are a CEO, like, the fact that you had issues with these, like, you know, Kardashian-Jenner people, and then, like, you are showing such truly immature high school behavior, it is embarrassing. It is really, really embarrassing at this point. And people are like, well, maybe he can't, what can't he speak on? Like, oh, maybe he can't speak about it. Maybe he's in a court proceedings. He's in no court proceedings, okay? I had an attorney contact me. There's no court proceedings going on. There's nothing that he can't come out and talk about. He could come out and talk about all of it if he wanted to, okay? Maybe his attorneys are telling him he shouldn't talk about it. Maybe he just doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't think he owes you all an answer because all he really cares about is the money in his pocket and the Birkins that he's carrying and the cars that he's driving, and that's it. He doesn't care about his fans. He never has cared about his fans. Look at how he treated his fans 10 years ago. There's video clips about it. He's still pe treating people that way. Figuratively, he's still treating people that way figuratively today, okay? And if you don't know what I mean by figuratively, it means he's not exactly acting the same way, but he is, basically, okay? By not saying anything, not coming out, and people are like, oh, give him his space. Why? Why should we give him a space? With every other person on the internet or social media, whatever, whenever they do something, we don't give them their space. No, we demand answers. That's what we do, you know? And I don't know why that should be any different for Jeffree Star. To put something out there, just anything for your fans that adore you and love you and care about you. I am one of those people, so I don't really care, okay? But I think it's a bad look. And I feel, I, I feel embarrassed for your fans and your stands that have bought your products and stood by you. And you're just over here, you know, like, and they're sitting here waiting to see if you post anything. And you're just off in a pool, okay, with some nobody beauty influencer. And I'm sorry, but that's what it is. <laughs> don't invite me to your events because I won't show up in the first place and I don't care, okay? Just sit around with your, you know, your COVID and sitting around drinking sodas and, and not wearing masks. Okay? I'm glad that you got a picture out of it bunch of all these problematic people it's just too much to me and then oh then the next picture i forgot about all this picture is where they're in the in jeffree star's house and uh cole's like oh my god i wish i had those dior nike shoes or whatever they are and then uh jeffree's like oh hi shoe or hi sweetie or something like that it's just so stupid by the way <laughs> anyway by the way <laughs> she's loud let off so that's that. Then I wanted to get into my Twitter because I didn't uh, get to finish everything that I wanted to talk about yesterday because I got so many more responses. So hold on a second. Yesterday I said, I'm literally just going to read down the thread and anything you want me to respond to, I will. Kind of like an unpopular opinions video. Here's an unpopular opinion. Jeffrey, you don't like, like, do you like come out and say like, F my fans, I don't care. Or come out and say something and don't make it a contrived statement. But like, this is such a bad look. Like I literally... In all honesty, in my four years of covering this stuff, I have never seen the arrogance and the entitlement of this. Like, you want to talk about how these people were all like, James Charles needs to be served a piece of humble pie, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And, and you know, Jay, uh, Shane even came out later and said he owed James an apology, but basically still kind of believed that, right? What about Jeffree Star? What about literally not responding to anybody and your fans are like asking, and like, what's going on? What's going on? You're not posting anything. I mean, the arrogance and the entitlement to that, that like, I mean, this whole idea that I got myself here and whatever, you know, you know, I don't know. You know, it's like people always want to talk about like he's self-made on the backs of who? Like who did you have to crawl over and destroy to get where you got today? Like that's my question, right? Anyway, um, 
what did somebody say underneath this one? Um, somebody said, did James Charles hint to drama? I talked about this yesterday, and someone said, hmm, yeah, that makes uh, the most sense as to why everyone somehow knew. Somehow knew about the video coming out. No, I think, I think we all just were speculating, and Tati had been gone so long, and I think that's what it was. I, I for a fact, the, the people that I know, I don't think Tati reached, or I don't think James Charles told anybody that a video was coming out. I don't know, like, but I could be wrong. Um, uh, um, hold on a second. Someone said, why do we come hard for Jaclyn Hill when she took time to collect herself and she was the CEO and can't do that? Same scenario for Jeffree Star, right? And Shane Dawson has been in the internet world for more than a decade. Now he goes silent when he's easily got advice for everyone else that's, and someone said, Jeffrey didn't have hairy, moldy lipstick. It's not comparable. Jacqueline is still wrong for not addressing fully. Actually, okay, um, and I really, really um, love Shay's video on this. And I talked about this, and I talked about how, I mean, I, I've gone in hard on Jacqueline Hill, right? We've been much too unfair to Jacqueline Hill in comparison to the standard that we hold uh, Jeffrey Star to. I mean, let's just be for real, okay? And Jeffrey also has had issues with his releases. Many, 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 many issues, including alleged having a hair in some of the things that he's had, okay? But he wasn't, like, just blam blasted everywhere. Do I think it also had to do with timing, that there wasn't a lot else that was going on within the drama community. Yeah, I do think that had a lot to do with Jaclyn Hill, right? But Jaclyn over there trying to live her good life and be with her boyfriend and be happy with her family and whatever, to continue to get, like, harassed for her weight and all this kind of stuff that all stems from that, you know? And, and I'm not saying that she don't lie, okay? Because <laughs> we know she do, okay? We know, Jaclyn, I love you, but we know, okay? And I do like Jaclyn, you know? But sure, like, don't even come to me and say that there's any comparison and it has something to do with these moldy lipsticks. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, I... So, I saw this guy yesterday and he had this t-shirt on. And the t-shirt said, um, uh, hi, don't be racist, thanks. And I was like... That's kind of where we're at today. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know that that's a lot to ask. So, I don't know. Like... <laughs> Racism, moldy lipsticks, you choose. You know what I mean? It's like, what? Like, and people continue to stand by Jeffree Star and defend it. It's like, okay, and then he's a CEO that isn't speaking out about anything that's going on. And then someone responded and said, just a hairy, moldy soul. Um, someone said, I mean, nobody has to make a statement or respond. We're trying to hold people accountable and it's really not our place to demand answers or information. Why isn't it? I, you know, that's interesting to me when people say that. Like, people don't, you're right, people don't have to come out with a statement or respond to us. They absolutely don't. But when you say to us, um, it, it's really not our place to demand answers or information, why isn't it as consumers, as followers of YouTubers, of people that have put money in these people's pockets, of, you know, people that have followed them and don't, and dedicated hours of our days and nights and taken away time from our families to follow what's going on. Why isn't it our place to demand answers or at least want to know answers? I think it is. And I think it's fair. And I, I think it's justified. So that's my stance on that. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't know. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to spin through some of these questions. Um, someone said they wanted, no, Tati, no! as a notification sound for their phone. Um, when are your uh, roller skating videos coming out soon? I hope. Um, a lot of unsolved mystery stuff. Okay, um, let's see. Anything else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't, what is going on? There's a lot on here, like I said yesterday, that I'm not going to talk about. Like I said, I'm a drama channel. I'm not a private investigator. I know where the line is and where not to cross it, and so I'm not going to go there. Um, someone said, I wish you would make, like, three videos a day on this channel about this Carmageddon. I love hearing your input. You're YouTube famous! I make five videos a day on five different channels. Go check them out, okay? Anyway, um... <laughs> So anyway, let me know what you think about all that in the comment section. And don't forget, don't be an Edith, okay? Don't be an Edith living up in your lonely mansion all by your lonely self. Get some friends. Go out and say hi to people. It's not that hard. Hi. I like you. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.